What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today in Infinifactory and today I just want to say I finished watching Armpits of Iron with Dr. Seymour Pitts as a movie, uh, just gonna say it stank. Today we are back and we're going to finish these last two puzzles in the resource site. Uh, the small excavator we have to build and the cargo uplifter, so we're just gonna get right into that. We've been doing pretty good so far with these puzzles. It doesn't seem too bad. What is this? Oh, that looks complicated. Okay, we have to... That, okay, sure. Oh, we only have one type of block, and what is this machine? Oh, this is a... Oh, I see, this cuts the blocks. Okay, so we have to feed the blocks in, cut them. So what do we need? We need six blocks that go through the cutter, and then four that go on top. So we need a section of ten total. Oh my goodness. So we need a line of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six... Seven, eight, nine, ten. My goodness, that is that is ridiculous. Okay, and then we'll just put a sensor here, and that'll do that. So, I mean, really, we can we can weld the ones at the very end here. We can crank up the input rate because this is really just going to go right, and this will just this will just feed everything out. Nice line of blocks, and then that sensor can trigger stuff. Okay, so everything at this point can become the group of four if we put a welder here, like so. Okay, excellent, so that'll weld the group of four together as they come in, and we can have a single piston push that off. Can get rid of this. Now, a lot of you did say in the last episode to save on the block score, I can just simply delete some blocks that we don't need. So for example, uh, all these ones we don't need because once they're welded, they should all be supported on this one block here. Right, so this is this is just saving. See that we don't we don't actually need everything else. So that's kind of useful. It's a good good tip. Okay, so how are we gonna do this now though? Okay, so actually no, we can do this one section and another section. This this seems like a, a phenomenal waste. Oh, I can't. Okay, hold on. We'll wire this. Perfect. This is definitely a phenomenal waste of stuff. You know what? I don't I don't care though. The aliens didn't say we had to make it good. We just had to make it work. All right, so that'll push off six. Right? And then we can weld them all together into two different groups. That welds those three together. We can push them off with one block like this. Okay, and feed them onto the belt. And then the other group we'll have to just bring out a little bit. Whoops. See, because we got this stupid, this stupid dispenser in the way. Okay, like this. And then we'll weld all three of these together. Like so. And bring that out with one and bring that over. All right, so let's see this. So, why did it, what? Oh, I disconnected the thingy, whoops. Okay, hold on, hold on. We're, you know, let's just go up and over. There we go, problem solved. All right, this should be super, super good. That one. Okay, it gets hacked up. And then comes out as two separate pieces. Okay, perfect, and then this is a chunk of four. Okay, so then the chunk of four, we're gonna have to move over to like a waiting area. It's gonna have to sit here and wait. Uh, actually, hold on, we gotta rotate it too. So let's actually just use the rotator, right? So the chunk of four gets rotated. Boom. Like that, perfect. And then we'll move it from here. Actually, we can use that as a holding station, can't we? That would be a good idea. And then these two, we just have to push through and divide them up again, divide and conquer, right? So this one will go like this. That comes all the way out to there, and then we'll split them, because one rotates and one doesn't. This is getting overly complicated. Not even the end assemblies yet, and we've already got... I mean, this is just a massive piece of machinery. Okay, and then... Well, that's not... Okay, that's not supported. Hold on. Perfect. Okay, then we gotta put a sensor, so this is one, two, three, four... Again, trying to save on blocks, I really don't know why. Um... No, let's see if we gotta go out more. I don't know why I care. I guess it's that just... I guess it's that desire to just try and get, you know, a good, a good score. Okay, this is... This should do something. I feel like we're still gonna have too high an input rate, but anyways. Okay, so split. Yeah, because these are gonna get blocked up like crazy. That one hasn't even moved yet. Flip the back one. And then we gotta flip it again. Flip the back one again. And then we should be able to just feed it off, right? I think, I think this is gonna work. We've got the skills. 
All right, deploy, flip that. You're in a good position. Okay, flip, flip. Okay, good. Now we just need to put all the pieces together. So then this one can just feed across. Uh, down a few blocks, I guess. Down to like here, maybe. So we can feed that one underneath. Like so. And then this one we can feed over. And like so. And then, uh, yeah, stuff. This should, I don't know, do stuff maybe? Feed this forward, and then we'll have to just feed that. Oh, this is not going to be low enough. So we'll have to feed that other one over top of this one. So we'll just go even lower down to like here. And then we're going to do the flip over to there. Uh, this needs to be actually spaced like this. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so that'll assemble. That'll assemble. And then we just need to slap one of these guys on top of it. Alright, let's see how what the timing is on these two. And then, of course, weld it all together somehow. Alright, this is, this is going good. Oh man, that's pretty good. Okay, and then we just need to, we need to feed this guy through. So, I, I don't know how to do that. I mean, this is obviously going to be way too quick. Uh, if we do it this way. It's also going to get hit on that. Yeah. No, that's, that's good. That's super, super great. That's, that's great. Let's go down, go down here maybe. Alright, flip, rotate, over, grab that. Yeah, like, obviously way ahead of the other two. Yeah, no, this is, this is good. This is, this is a nice looking assembly. This is a lot more complicated than I was expecting it to be, to be perfectly honest. Okay, how, how do I do this? Get on that track, you gotta center. Okay, you're centered now, perfect. So now it's just gotta wait. Because we're gonna slow down the input rate, because we're not even gonna build these fast enough anyways. It's gonna suck in the beginning, but once they get going, then uh, it'll take a little bit longer. Yeah, that's it's a lot slower. Rotate. So you need to wait here, I think is, is the key. We have you wait here, and we just have a piston push you off when you're good to go. Then you're sitting in a good position. This one, that needs to move. Something like that. I, I don't know if this is going to work. We'll, we'll try this anyways. And then we need to hook that up into a sensor that detects every time, like, I don't know, this one goes down, maybe? Is that right? I think that one's the later one. And then we'll just run this cabling up. And then that way this one's waiting for the next piece. I wonder how you're supposed to do it with speeding that up. Because the making four is obviously much quicker than making two sets of three. Alright. Flip, flip. Down in position, down in position. See, that one's going to go way too far now. Okay. Alright. I think this has fixed the problem. Got this, uh... Take it out there and put it back there. Bring it down. So we should have a finished product here at the bottom all lined up perfectly good to go. All right, that one goes underneath. Check. It triggers the sensor, which sets that guy in motion. It goes out, does some... Is it lined up? Is it... It's off by one still? Okay, well, that's fine. We'll just move this out one more block. Like so. Okay, perfect. All right, deploy, rotate, good. Wait in position. You two push, flip, underneath, one side, other side. Check, you go over there. Check, grab that, check, deploy right in the middle. Oh, magical. Okay, so now all we gotta do is weld everything together. And then once we've welded everything together, we need to push it off. So we're just gonna put a little a block thingy here like so we don't really need them on the sides there uh we're gonna have welders set up here so like this get rid of that one we'll put a block there and we'll have another set of welders here and this will weld the other side okay and then we just need a sensor in the middle to sense when the this piece has come down and then we just need to connect that to a piston which pushes the whole assembly off so that should be like this and we can just run conduit from here to here. 
And so that sensor shouldn't pick up either of the two side pieces falling, but when the middle piece falls right into the middle, it should pick it up, push the whole assembly off. We'll just put that on a block. Okay. And then we just run this on a conveyor out to the finish. Like this. We're going to assemble. So making a line of 10, two sets of three and one set of four. Check. Sets of three get welded, pass through the grinding device. Push, flip, flip underneath crazy mess of conveyors drop down into position trigger that one block of four comes oh you left already well you know what you weren't supposed to leave already okay that's how it needs to be i think we can probably crank up the input rate a little bit i'm not gonna do it yet i want to make sure we can make a successful product first then we'll try cranking it up by one but we're really going to be hindered by this block here this block can't get yeah see it still has some time i think maybe Oh no, the next set of four really, it, get, it deploys almost at the same time. So you know what? I think it's pretty good. Okay, and then this one drops into position. Double weld. Look at that. Magical. We're making excavators. Alrighty. That one's going good. This is a really slow factory though. I mean, I'm sure there's a way to do this in a lot faster cycle score. We'll see when the scores come up, obviously. It's the grinder. I don't know how to speed up that grinding section at the top here. How do you speed up? Because you need 10 blocks coming from a single source. But that grinder's slow, and then you gotta rotate the process out. We're doing good, though. Seven. Alright, we're just gonna speed this up, let it run super speed. Which isn't even that fast. Alright, well, that was complicated. I can't wait to see what the next puzzle is. If this is complicated, I like these puzzles are just getting more and more fun. Yeah, cycle score, most people did it in the time I did. See, some people were, were super tryhard and got it in those lower times then we've got the footprint and the block score yeah you know what I'm, I'm i'm never gonna be good at those that's okay all right we got one more challenge to do before the cargo or we got one more challenge to do before the performance review um so hopefully we can get this done we'll see how how this one goes what is this okay it's two pieces four pieces and two pieces gotcha we got a grinder okay so that's a grinder i'm assuming to that makes these guys so we need two and four, and they come out of here. And what about those other pieces? Oh, they come out of there. Okay, so that's that's easy enough. I mean, these ones we can just deal with right off the bat. So let's just let's just deal with these quickly. Uh, we'll just run a conveyor out to here. I don't really know how far we need to get it. Um, hopefully we can do the assembly over here. And then, actually, you know what? We can do this even easier. Let's just... We'll assemble them right here. We'll weld them up in groups of two which is just like so. So we'll put a, a block there with a sensor. Hold on here. Yep. And uh, put a double piston mechanism here. Sure, that's what we wanted to do. Right, just like that. And then we'll put just the double welder coming off here and run that on whatever conveyor we want. Okay, so this will just create groups of two. Right, easy enough. They're in the right spot, right orientation. Okay, and then this one, we need to create a group of six. And four need to go one way, and four need to get stacked. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. We need to stack two. Okay. So this one will create a group, group of six again. One, two, three, four. Uh, the last two can be welded together. You know what? We can weld these from the side even. It really doesn't matter. And that should work fine. And then the last... Oh, no, we can't because we need a piston. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I lied. We need to weld them from the top. There we go. Last two are welded together. This is all attached like so. And then these two groups, we need to push two this way and two that way. So we're going to go like this. Oops. Can we, can I put a piston there? Uh, okay, there we go. So those can go like this and wire across like that. And then underneath, we put two more pistons to push two this way and we'll weld them together. Okay. Okay. And these guys will weld like this. And you know what? We can weld these two as well, actually. We'll just... We'll have to run them out a little bit. We don't have a lot of space. And I think we can weld them. Can we weld them here? Can I get closer even? No, that's the closest. Okay. And then like that. And we can pass that through the grinding machine of science. So this should create all the parts we need for everything. So now we can create a stack. Alright. So weld. Wait, what? Did I... Oh, whoops. Hold on, my bad, my bad. We'll just put these, there we go. All right, weld, check, flip, down. I think what we do actually, I think we just put all these 
on one big belt together and send them over to the final assembly area over here. I think I think that's the solution. So we go both of these bars, instead of stacking them together right off the bat, we'll just send them off a line together and then one will just end up on top of the other and we can use one of these other bars as a trigger. Okay, so we're going to we're going to assemble this right up here against the wall because that way we can push it off with a plunger when it's done. So for the assembly, we're going to have this. So we'll just divert this guy. Yeah, like this and then bring you around to the front side. Like so. We'll have you sit in front like that. That can go there. And the final piece of the puzzle is this guy which gets slapped onto the back. Uh slapped onto the back. Okay, so that's the whole assembly. Now to weld it all, we're going to need this guy like this. We're going to need a vertical guy. Actually, we can just do this. Haha, -ha, there we go. And then we're gonna need a guy up front. Okay, perfect. So that's the whole dealio. And that should be making a product, I think, if, if we've done this correctly. So this one gets passed along. That one's way too freaking fast. Oh boy. Weld that. Yeah, no, that, this is, this is, okay, this is way too quick. Let's slow down the input rate. Let's just go with a regular input rate again. I think if we want to do the faster input rates now, we're going to have to actually start timing some stuff, putting delays, and, uh, and actually forcing sensors to move stuff with pistons. Oh boy, that one can't land first. Let's put a delay step there, so every second product will go out. Because if it lands first, then that welding grid welds it when the thing is vertical. It need, these two need to land first, like this, so they weld, and then that one gets shunted, and then that one goes into position, and it'll push the whole thing off. Okay, so when that one's in position, we can have a sensor there, and then this should be the solution to make the product, and hopefully it comes off quick enough that we can just get rid of it uh, right off the bat. So let's see if we can do this, and then we'll just shunt it there. Alright, that should be it. I mean, this is a really complicated puzzle. Okay, so we're making four here. Well, splitting into six. Group of two there. They fall down first. That one waits. This one comes across, gets welded to the front. That one shunts off. Push. Perfect. Look at that. Amazing. We are making successful products. Of course, we're wasting a piece here because the first piece that we make doesn't actually go with it. But you know what? That's okay. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Again, no specifications from the aliens. This is amazing. I'm really digging how these puzzles are going. This is getting definitely more complicated and definitely a lot more fun. But, uh, you know, we have that performance review coming up, which is good. So we'll take a look at that. Make sure, of course, you guys hit that like button if you like this series. I really enjoy this game. I know it's an older game. A few people are saying that. But I really like it. It's a puzzle game. And it's new to me. So you know what? It's, uh, it's definitely a lot of fun to try out all these puzzles. And they're getting... They're getting to the point where, you know, it's taking a little bit more time to think, and I'm really enjoying that, and uh, it's definitely a lot of fun. So make sure you guys hit that like button and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And uh, we're going to go to the performance review right after this puzzle. Oh, you know what? Still working with most of the average people, there's still the, the few tryhards who are really, uh, really up there. You know, normal footprint, and again, pretty average with the block score, but... You know, I'm pretty satisfied with that. Really awesome puzzles. I can't wait to see what puzzles come up next. Of course, we have this awesome performance review. I don't know what, like, they can abduct me. I got a, oh, Floyd hat. Is my name Floyd? This is awesome, though. I got a Floyd hat. All right, you know, we can, seriously, more dog food. That's just going to overflow onto the floor. All right, well, I'm not going to eat the food. We're going to see by the end of that. Maybe we'll just have a whole, whole slew of it everywhere. Can we put the Floyd hat on the trophy? No, no, we, no. There we go, perfect. But yeah, make sure you guys hit those buttons down below. Let me know in the comments what you think of this series. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see y'all next time.